one of our eight 3D motion capture cameras here at the Kevin Haim Golf School in our brand new Gears 3D motion capture studio, the only gear studio in Canada. And the eight cameras capture incredible data. It's really an interesting process. We dress golfers up in this avatar suit with markers on it. We've got 28 markers. And from those markers in real time, we create an avatar and then we can analyze all of the data of body motion and the club as well. There's one of my ping irons markered up. We capture all of this and then get great real-time information out of it. This month in uh, Flagstick Golf Magazine, we talked about spine tilt and posture angle and how you need to quiet those to hit better shots. You know, the reality is, is a lot of higher handicappers believe they'll generate speed and power by moving around more. So I see a lot of golfers, you know, shift and sway. I see golfers lift up. I see golfers over rotate or tilt improperly. When you watch a golf pro, they really look quiet. And one of the things we're seeing in that quietness is the spine rotating properly. So the first thing we're going to talk about this month is spine tilt. Now what is spine tilt? Well, it's this angle right here on my avatar. So straight up and down would be a 90 degree spine tilt. In golf, you want a little bit of a positive number. So the back shoulders down a little bit. And you want to keep that during your swing. If you can maintain your spine tilt from starting position to the top of your backswing and start the same down into the downswing, you're going to have a more efficient golf swing and a more powerful golf swing. Think of a spring winding up really tightly that doesn't move around and twist and shift. That's what you've got. If you look at this avatar I created uh, just a little bit ago, I'm at a 92.6 angle here, which is just a little bit of tilt from straight up and down. That's a great number for a mid iron. You want a, a, just a couple of degrees of spine tilt. And if we watch me at the top of my golf swing, so I'm 92.6 here, now I'm 91.3. I'm 1.3 degrees different. And when I practice, I actually try to work on maintaining that amount of tilt in my golf swing. Again, think of your spring winding up. The less moving around of either end of the spring, the better the coil, the more efficient the swing, so it's more repeatable and more powerful. When you're practicing, try to introduce a little bit of positive spine tilt and then maintain that tilt all the way to the top and as you start your downswing. Now the other spine line we'll look at here is called posture angle. When we look at this golfer from the side, or what we call down the line, we see that if straight up and down we're 90 degrees from the turf, this golfer has a 57.3 degree of posture angle. Okay, does that make sense? We find, as, as a matter of fact, at the school, we find anywhere from about 52 to about a 62, depending on, you know, proportions of the body and posture at address, those numbers are okay. I'm at about 57.3, that's a midpoint, really, in proper posture. Weight in the middle of the feet, bum back, chest up, nice position right here. Just like spine tilt, you want to maintain posture angle throughout the entire uh, backswing, and as a matter of fact, right into impact. So if we take my golf swing to the top here, we see that I jump a little bit. I'm at about 62 now, which if we looked on a normal video camera, we'd see my head move a little bit. But using the gears data, which is more accurate, we see about a four degree move. And I've actually, to tell you the truth, been working on this, maintaining posture as I swing. Uh, players who do a great job with this, Justin Rose is a terrific example, but most golf pros, do a super job at maintaining posture angle and of maintaining spine tilt when they practice and when they work on their golf swings. Think of it this way next time you're practicing. Try to stay more still, try to stay in posture and in tilt instead of moving around and trying to generate speed that way. I think you'll find you'll hit better, stronger shots. If you want more information on gears, 3D motion capture, or in the Kevin Haim Golf School, you can log on to kevinhaim.com. There's tons of information there. You can follow me on Twitter, at Kevin Haim, or pop me an email, kevinh at kevinhaim.com. Happy golfing, everybody. We'll talk to you again next month.